Hey everybody. And I'm going to show you a, a computer that has been infected with a rogue antivirus program. Nowadays there's starting to be a big scam coming along from all sorts of different hackers. And these hackers are making these software programs that are known as rogue antivirus programs. Basically what happens is you be out searching this searching anything or just surfing the net and you come across a particular website they don't even look like anything suspicious. You go to the website and this website will be infected with the virus itself and what happens is what I've seen in my, in my own experience with these programs is a lot of times they'll run this flash applet within the browser to try to trick you into thinking your computer is being hacked with viruses and it's doing this fake little scan saying you have 50 to 100 something Trojans and all this stuff and you need to download this software and scan your computer and, or buy our software basically what happens is these programs will come attached to your computer in two ways number one they'll say download this file to complete the scan and, and most average Joes will not even think of it. they'll just go ahead and download the file and it will execute on the computer or well, number two it can be a Trojan virus that downloads automatically without the user's consent and what happens is these files get attached to the computer within the windows and what happens from here is the software looks like actual you know antivirus software scan your computer and it will give you all these results which are really just a scam because these results are fake they're not real now say so you have like 50 or so viruses a whole bunch of Trojan spyware and give you all these threatening messages and even in a lot of cases these antivirus, these rogue antivirus programs don't even let you start certain programs on the computer because they are so called infected. Let's go ahead and start this Toshiba laptop and I'll show you a good example of a computer infected with a rogue antivirus program. This computer runs Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. Which actually, this computer was even worse in worse condition. Or I'd actually remo removed the hard drive, start the computer up to reset the BIOS. Somehow, the hard drive was causing the BIOS to hang up. So I took the hard drive out and started it up. It worked. And I plugged it back in. Now I was able to get back in the Windows. Anyways, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look here. Wish there was a lot of junk on this computer. I'm actually going to be doing a reinstall. Of Windows on this machine, I'm going to back up all the files and do a complete reinstall of Windows 7. But I'm going to show you guys how to potentially remove these rogue antivirus programs successfully without having to do a full reinstall. As you see, this computer is taking a while to log in. And with a moment, this program will start. The hard drive is running wide slap open on this machine. Here we go, System Tool. This real game virus program is called System Tool. Notice how it is doing this scan. And notice here the hard drive is having some activity but not much. This is a fake antivirus program in action. Notice here, it says warning. Application cannot be executed. The file DLL host exe is infected. Please activate your antivirus software. Basically what they're trying to do is trying to get you to activate the software for a price, a fee. And these hackers will make money off of their scam. Watch as I try to close this program out. It gives you another warning. It says intercepting programs that compromise your privacy and harm to your system have been detected on your PC. Click here to remove them immediately with System Tool. And here is what the desktop says. It says warning. You are in danger. They can't even spell you are right. Your computer is infected with spyware. 
because all you all you do with computer is stored forever on your hard disk. When you visit sites, send emails, all your actions are logged, and it is impossible to remove them with standard tools. Can't exactly see what it says behind these shortcuts. It says your data is still available for forensics in some cases for your boss, your friends, your wife, your children. Get back to that. Finish reading the desktop right quick. It says even something or somebody or even something like spyware open in your browsers with the something and I'll download it and maybe later remove movies or empathy songs are still there and you can break your life. <laughs> Secure yourself right now. Remove all spyware from your PC. This has got to be the worst rogue antivirus program I've seen. I've messed with sys internals. I've had a computer infected with that. I got a computer in right now that's getting a reinstall that has been affected with ThinkPoint, which is another rogue antivirus program. See, there's a bunch of them on, online right now. Let's see what this little window here says. It says, warning, 38 in the t infections found. Last scan detected malicious programs, which it just went away by itself. It's saying there's 38 infections when, in fact, there's not, there's not actually 38 infections on here. Let's see what happens when we say remove. Activate system tool. Click to activate antivirus and remove all infections. No. Continue unprotected. It says dangerous. Continue without system activation. It says continue without activation system tool. See, they, see, these people must be in like China or somewhere because they don't even understand proper English. It says warning. Application cannot be executed. It will do this about anything on the machine. You try to, you try to launch any program, it will do this. It will prevent you from doing anything on your computer. It says, are you sure? Continue unprotected. Okay. Once you know something else here, this rogue antivirus program has even created a fake action center icon on the system tray notification area. It will display a little pop-up saying that the Windows security software is out of date. Windows 7 does not say that. And speaking of that, here is the actual Action Center shortcut. You notice that it says Messages for Internet Explorer, Backup Settings, and Problems with Flash Player, and Internet Explorer again. Let's see if we can get this get this little icon here to pop up a message. Which you try to click it, it does nothing, but it will pop up a little balloon saying that Windows Security software is out of date. Which in Windows 7, it's not even called Windows Security Center; it's called Action Center. So now we're going to go ahead and attempt to restart this machine and go into safe mode in attempt to begin removing this rogue antivirus program. And notice here, this rogue antivirus program is preventing log on UI from launching. This is what Windows 7 runs on to restart and log off and do all sorts of other things. So we're going to do a hard reset of this machine by shutting the computer completely off and turning it back on. Which in Windows 7 will automatically come up with a prompt to give you some options for safe mode and that sort of stuff because you shut your computer off. But in a case where your computer can restart, once you get, get past your BIOS boot screen, such as on this computer, it's called Toshiba. Once that blank, once that blanks out, you start pressing F8 repetitively, and you'll get this advanced boot options screen, which I actually I went ahead and did this, and you'll get advanced boot options. We're going to go ahead and select safe mode, which if you want to go online and, and attempt to download some software such as Adware, you can use safe mode with networking. But I already had the file on the machine, so we'll say safe mode. And for those who are not familiar, safe mode is basically a version of a built-in startup option for Windows that only loads base components, base services, that kind of stuff. As you may have noticed earlier, the rogue antivirus program system tool was preventing executable files in Windows from starting up. So I wouldn't be able to load or launch any installer files for any actual spyware pro removal program such as Adware let alone system components, as you may have seen earlier, were being prevented from starting. 
So now I don't want to save mode, we can actually have full use of the machine again. So first thing first, since we can't actually see the process running in Task Manager, all we can do here is look through the programs on this machine. And this Rogue Antivirus program did create a folder of its own. Now follow me on these steps. What you need to do, you see this shortcut, you'll right click, don't launch it, but right click and save properties. This will tell you the target area, which is in a hidden folder in Windows. It's in the program data folder, so since this is a hidden folder, you can either A, go into Windows Explorer options and enable viewing of hidden files and folders, or B, we can do this. Go to Computer. Go ahead and click look with this C. Click the icon. Let me go up a little bit. Here we go. Click this icon one time. And this will give you the old fashioned address. Say program data. And hit enter. This will take you to some hidden files within Windows. And this here is where the Rogue Antivirus program is located. Follow me. Hold your shift key down and press delete. It will permanently delete the folder. And just have a look here right quick. If you watch other videos about me bashing on OEM computers about the Norton free trial stuff, as you see Norton failed to protect this computer. So don't get Norton. Anyways, now we'll go ahead and attempt to start this machine in regular mode. Don't worry about pressing F8 this time because we're going to start Windows in regular mode. Now we're logged into Windows and notice here the computer is functioning normally now not with that Rogue Antivirus program on here. Basically, the previous step I did was I removed the core files of that program to prevent it from starting up and taking over the computer again. Which is, here is Skype, starting up with Windows. Let's go ahead and end it. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and run Windows Defender. Go ahead and do a scan. Do a full scan. Which this will take a while. And by the time it gets done, it's removed the files, any extra files related to that program off your computer. Anyways, there's an example of a rogue antivirus program and how to remove it. This was System Tool. That was the name of the program. The procedures can vary from program to program. Some programs will be more tricky than others. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask.